The episode begins with Subaru waking up from a nightmare. He was dreaming about your mom. He even checks the eye because we all know your mom likes some awkward things. Amelia is lying right next to him. Poor girl must be freezing. He flashback about their kiss in the last life. He has a boner. He wakes her up because he's in a hurry to leave. Fucking cheeky. No opening again. I'm out of jokes for that. Ram may seem polite now, but she'll pull the chair when Amelia is about to sit down. This conversation is so pointless I'm sure you don't even remember what it is about anymore. He watches Amelia while she sleeps. I strongly suspect that's a crime, if no it's weird anyway. After the jerk off in her bedroom, he goes straight to the sanctuary. Inside, Subaru begs Echidna to invite him to another tea party. My mom always said asking to be invited is impolite, but she hasn't tasted Echidna's sweet urine. Then he chokes on saliva and falls. Choking of saliva is a pretty common problem among young adults. Look at the smile on the face of someone who's gonna die, I'm jealous. Subaru watches his after death. That is that time when Amelia caught Subaru sleeping with Rem. Ha ha ha, Subaru with a girl. That was a freaking good joke. Felix tries to save him with his healing power. Damn, this looks like a bloody vagina. Hashtag sanitary pad for everyone. He wakes up again. Maybe it traumatized him. Nah, he's having fun rolling on the floor like a dog. Pets the belly. Round two, here we go. This time it's that death in the first season. Stop crying around. I don't even remember if it's supposed to be sad. Subaru has a better memory than mine. Round three. Subaru literally became a bolognese on a skewer. Why are you so mad? It was Subaru who passed away. See, that's the right reaction. Sabertooth Puck versus overpowered swordsman, I'd love to watch this fight, several other past lives and then, oh my god, I can't believe, is this really serious, they're fucking adding a new character at the end of the second season, fucking hell, the only thing I didn't understand is why does Subaru seem to know her, maybe she's a friend from our world, looks like she sees him more than as a friend, she's gonna kiss him, but as you know, he loves Amelia, forget what I said, not even Subaru knows who the fuck is she, the hologram defects and Rem becomes this unfamiliar girl, I don't know who she is, but at least I don't have to force a 2016 joke, Subaru is so mad by the prank he intends to assault the girl, suddenly he has a heart attack, Kira is a fucking simp, joking, don't hurt women for god's sake, another opportunity to drink witch's tears, I said tears cause it sounds cooler, Subaru stays in position shitting in the bush, I admit I missed Amelia stuck in the windows xp wallpaper, he gets up and sits on the chair, almost looking like a rational animal, but he can't fool me, Echidna says maybe all that really happened, but I don't care enough to read all the subtitles. Subaru makes a surprise expression, that's a surprise expression. But one thing doesn't make sense to Subaru and me. Why does this S-class waifu keep trying to help him? It's amazing just because Echidna is cute we all ignore that her eyelashes look like an albino tarantula legs. So she proposes a contract between them, you know, like a bank or insurance company, those super consumer friendly companies. She talks about all the positive aspects of this contract, all too. Every time he deposits money and savings he'll receive an incredible interest of 0.07%. Wait, so if he signs the contract and invites two more people to do the same, who will invite two more people and so on? On. Will Subaru become rich? You should sign this right now my boy, what a bargain. That was a very suspicious move, but I'll ignore it since she's hella cute. I'd be easily manipulated by this woman, don't call me simp, at least I fuck. Echidna approaches Subaru and imitates Iron Man by firing repulsor rays, she's a big Marvel fan. When Subaru's gonna give her a 5, a meteorite falls and everyone dies, including the dinosaurs. Luckily everyone here's immortal. The meteorite is this other witch that I don't remember the sin she represents or even her name, but I'd absolutely sign a contract with her. Look at the ground, every living thing within 5 meters died cause Minerva approached. Now I'm confused, how are she and Echidna together? It's not supposed to have only one witch per time. Moral of the story, don't trust mattresses and insurance sellers. Minerva tells Subaru to stop being a fucking simp who easily believes any bullshit Echidna says. But what can he do? He has a soft spot for silver hair. The girl Subaru liked at school was an albino who died at 16, he has no rest. Okay Minerva, but when are you gonna step on me? Subaru wants to know what payment for the contract he signed with Echidna. I don't think I want it. You can also use my body as you wish. Does anyone have a pin? See who's back. I hope she does that trick of becoming Rem to fuck Subaru's head up again. Echidna says he should ignore those Moshit characters. Wow, you can't call this one Moshit. Since she's the Witch of Sloth, she has to lie on the dirty floor because she's lazy. That makes no fucking sense. The Brat of Pride is also here. She reminds me of those annoying children that I'd like to throw a rock on the head, but I don't cause I don't want to be arrested. Only the Cleopatra was missing with her walking sarcophagus. They're all here. I mean, almost all. Subaru confronts Echidna finally honoring at least one of the balls he has between his legs. I know I made this joke a few episodes ago, but Echidna is so white that if the sky were cloudy her head would disappear. She says if he accepted the contract she'd sacrifice people like someone sacrifices cards in a Yu-Gi-Oh match. Echidna opens her arms and explains a lot of insignificant nonsense. I imagine people around thinking, why the hell this chick raised her hands? Dude, she looks like that statue from Brazil. Waifuism is officially a religion. They see me rolling, they hatin', patrolling and trying to catch me riding dirty. Jeez, she has only two lines in her palm. After several cute smiles, she ends with a Joker-style smile. We live in a society, put on a happy face. All witches again if you have a shitty memory. Subaru formed an opinion on the contract. Maybe he's just talking about Echidna. He ends up refusing the contract and yelling at her. Echidna is so mad about it she even makes sprout grass again, she's vegan. Subaru asks Echidna how can he save Beatrice, the library keeper, from all the loneliness and suffering she has been facing for 400 years.
Well, I think after that nothing important will happen in this episode. Wait what? Am I too disgusting if I find her thigh stunning? If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. I'd like to ask you to watch at least two videos of the channel in a row because it helps me a lot. Also make a friend watch this video too. Use violence if necessary. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Bye.